friends, it's Julie and it's the beginning of October now so I thought that it would be fun to do something um, a little bit different from what I normally do. Um, I know at this time of year absolutely everything comes out in uh, pumpkin spice flavor and scent and everything like that but uh, if you have reactive skin like me then you can't use the skincare products, you can't use the candles or air fresheners or anything like that if you react to those kinds of perfumes and things like that. And a lot of times you can't even have the pumpkin spice lattes and things that they sell at like Starbucks and all the other coffee shops that they have. And um, that can be a little bit depressing because like it's kind of fun to get into that at this time of year. I mean later on it does get a little frustrating, you had enough of it, but at this time you actually kind of want that. So um, I thought that I would show you what I do at this time of year because it is possible to have a pumpkin spice latte. Two in fact, I'm going to be doing one with coffee and one with uh, sea buckthorn matcha and still enjoy it without the flare-ups and things like that because it uses actual real ingredients and it's really super low in sugar. In fact, it doesn't have added sugar, I use maple syrup instead. So yeah, just to have a look at the ingredients. I start off with a cup of milk. Um, I use, I'm using non-unsweetened cashew milk at the moment. Um, I'm not using dairy uh, milk at the moment because I think that I might be reacting to it. I'm not really sure, but um, why take the risk? Um, so, but you can use regular milk or almond milk or whatever kind of milk you're using. Go for it. So it's a cup of that. Um, any brand, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Um, then next you're going to want either coffee or espresso. So you're going to want three quarters of a cup of it of either really strong coffee or espresso. I have three kinds of coffee maker. I have an espresso machine, I have a regular coffee maker, and I have a Tassimo. So you can use any of those. There's espresso, um, there's regular coffee, and that would be caffeine free. And there is espresso there for the Tassimo. You can use any of those things and it will work. Just make sure that you have very, very strong coffee if that's what you use and you need three quarters of a cup of that. Then you're going to want a tablespoon of pumpkin puree. Um, I personally take pie pumpkin and puree it myself so that I get this substance here. But um, if you don't want to go through all that nonsense because it is a little bit labor intensive, it's not difficult but it's a nuisance, then you can just get the canned stuff because it's good too. So you'll just want a tablespoon of that. Then you're going to want either, I just got lazy and used the pre-made pumpkin pie spice and you just need an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon of that depending on how strong you want the flavor to be or you can just use cinnamon which is this one a little bit of nutmeg just a tiny dash of that you're going to want an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon a tiny dash of nutmeg and then a tiny dash of just a teensy little pinch of ground ginger and finally you're going to want an eighth of a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and um, this is actually another thing of cinnamon for the dusting on the top at the end. Oh, and for sweetener, I use uh, pure maple syrup. I get the 100% pure stuff because um, it really makes a difference. And I don't react to it like I react to the fake stuff. And for that, I use one teaspoon. But if you want something a little bit sweeter, then you can go ahead and use a little bit more. I, I don't tend to like things super, super sweet. So then all you have to do is heat up all the ingredients in a saucepan and wait till it gets quite warm. You don't want to boil it or anything like that. You'll just end up scalding it. But um, just get it pretty, pretty hot and brew yourself your coffee and make yourself your sea buckthorn matcha. In terms of the matcha, all you need to do is make like a little bit of a paste in the bottom of a cup so I don't know if it's going to zoom in on that but that's what it looks like just make it up into a little bit of a kind of runny it's not quite a paste it's like a runny paste <laughs> and um, just make sure that it's good and mixed with some hot water and then make up your coffee so in my teeny little coffee maker I just made a really really strong coffee I did it with the decaf coffee because I've already had coffee today and I will be through the roof if I drink any more So then you take your coffee and you take your latte mix and you just pour one into the other. And if you're making the, the sea buckthorn matcha, then you do the exact same thing. Oops. 
And once you're done, I have this teeny little whisk. I like to give it a little bit of a stir to make sure it's all really mixed up, but also to give it a little bit of a bubble on the top. Because while I do have a, an espresso machine over there, I don't feel like using the frother. It's a total nuisance, and then you have to clean the thing off, and I'm just that lazy. So if I'm already going to the effort of making this all myself and using the stove, I may as well just use a little whisk. So then, once you're done with that, you have a really yummy matcha latte, sea buckthorn matcha latte. Um, with a little bit of a foam on top. You have one delicious pumpkin spice latte. So good, oh my goodness, wait until you try this. Finally, the last touch that I like to do, as I pointed out before, I put ground cinnamon into this. This is actually a salt shaker, since I don't use salt on anything. <laughs> I use the shakers for my, my salt and pepper for other spices. Um, it's actually really convenient, so um, I just take the cinnamon and just tap a little bit on the top. You don't need a, uh, too much because there is some already in there, but it's kind of nice to add the little bit of extra because I personally really like cinnamon. And um, incidentally, it's an anti-inflammatory, so it's good for your skin. <laughs> so yeah, that's all there is to it. It's super fast. Even though there are, you know, a handful of ingredients in there, it you just throw them all in a pan and whisk it up. It's, it's incredibly quick. It's incredibly easy. My breakfast in the morning takes more effort than this, so if I stop midday and just whip one of these up, especially if you already have your puree, done up, whether this is from you just empty a can into the jar and keep that in your fridge or you've actually, you know, pureed your your little pie pumpkin already <laughs> and you're just doing it that way. Either way, if you have this ready and you have all the ingredients, then it seriously, it takes a few seconds and then it just takes a few minutes to heat up and that's all you need. So I hope you enjoy the pumpkin spice latte recipe that I created in order to keep um, flare-ups away and uh, still enjoy this season. And um, yeah, so if you do actually make this or you intend to make this, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, did you add more maple syrup than I do? Do you like things sweeter than I do? Let me know. Yeah, because I really am interested to see if you use the recipes because this one is going to be in my upcoming um, cookbook. A little <laughs> plug there that I actually didn't plan to put in, but like, why not? Um, yeah, it will be in recipes for a rosy life. But for now, I hope you enjoy this one. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more recipe videos like this or the rest of the video type, other types of videos that I normally make, um, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every Sunday and Thursday. Other than that, I will see you next time.